Guys, part four of this beginner's golf guide and what we want to talk about is the setup. So, if you've not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So, guys, setup. What I mean by setup is I'm going to take you through the basic setup fundamentals that I try and add, add here to with beginner golfers who are first starting out the game. So, the idea here is if I was to drop a couple of golf balls, so if I was sitting up towards a target, the idea is I always make sure, obviously we've put our hands on the club first, so make sure that you grip the club nice and lightly, so you, you, put, you put your hands on the golf club first. So we're going to do this in stages. Stage one, what we're going to do is we're going to work from the ground up the way, so get our feet in the right position, knees and hips in the right position, and then our shoulders. So what I always do with beginner golfers, with iron play, iron play is the most important thing about golf, obviously putting and driving a second to run as well. Now, iron play, for you to hit the ball close, you have to hit your good iron shots, okay, so you can strike your irons purely. So the first thing I always see is people move the ball position too far forward with their irons relative to their stance, and what that does is it makes them hit the ground before the golf ball, and it makes them hit up on the golf ball as the club enters the impact position. So almost in this action where the club starts to work over the top of the golf ball. Together, obviously we're progressing this as we get from Pretend that we're setting up with wedges now and seven irons, then we'll go gradually into four or five irons. So think about set up with your feet together to start off with. The ball should be directly in line with the, the middle of your feet. So if I was to go first, then I move my left foot approximately six inches to the left. Does it places the ball right in the middle of my stance? That's how that's kind of where we want the golf ball. So if I was to draw a line from my zip all the way down to the golf ball, then the golf ball should be in the middle of my zip or the middle of my stance. That kind of just helps me keep my body weight, so the, the weight of my body over the top of the golf ball, and it helps me get weight back to my left foot on the downswing, and it's going to reduce the chances of hitting up on it. It's going to hit down on the golf ball. So we move the ball position in the middle of our feet, and then from there, we grip the club. So my, my shoulders, my knees, and my hips are in a straight line. We don't want to aim our shoulders too far left, because that's going to create an out to end swing path, or aim our shoulders too far right, that's going to create an in into out path and that's going to create a lot of error so think about we set up to the golf ball right foot balls in the middle of our stance we get the club and distance distance from the ball is kind of it's it's all relative to what height you are and how comfortable you feel and what type of posture you have but the one thing i always try and get golfers to feel like is if i was to set up to the golf ball normally and i was standing too close so think about the top end of the club in rel rel relative connection with my body. If I was standing too close, then what's happening is take your right hand off the club. If I can't get that right hand through the top of the club, then that means you're standing too close. So the idea is trying to get your right hand in the top of the club to get your right hand to pass through that gap of the top of the club and your stomach. So starting again, stand closer, get your right hand, take it off, feel like you can get the right hand through that passage all the way through. So our feet are in line, our knees are in line, our shoulders are in line, and then from there we're going to take aim and hit the golf ball. So, ball, as we gradually progress, obviously the ball's going to go slightly further forward with the longer club. But because the club's a little bit longer, it's going to naturally position you a, a further away from the golf ball. The shorter the club, so think about the shorter the club, the more upright. So the, the, the shorter the club, the closer we're going to stand, meaning that the more upright the swing's going to be. So if we've got a driver, let's say we're standing too far away from it, then that's going to make the the swing path more around our body, so